Oh, it smells so good. Oh, what's this behind it? Oh, it's so cute. I when I look at this, I think little tiny badger. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is absolutely gloomy, but I've got something to show you that should brighten your day. And this is a little sneak peek to December's Fresh and Flowers box. So this is inspired by Charles Dickens. It's a very special Christmas Fresh and Flowers box. This was kindly sent to me by the team at Fresh and Flowers um, to show you all. You have until the 24th of November to get signed up and I can't wait to open it. I can smell it and it smells so good. So let's open it up because I'm going to see what it is. Oh, that's so cute. So we've got a cute little Christmas card and if anyone's an OG Lushy, you'll remember this as one of the knot wraps and then we've got another little card in here that says hey Sarah here you'll find our December Fresh and Flower subscription box inspired by the story of a Christmas carol by Charles Dickens and Victorian decorations. We create this box for you to get into the festive feeling. Step outside the hustle and bustle of Christmas and have an evening to yourself. A little box of Christmas joy. Freshandflowers.lush.com. We hope you enjoy. Well, I will enjoy. Thank you so much. So let's open this up. I can see on the back. So on the back it has what's in it, but we're not going to fully look at that yet. And inside it has a little message. Dear lovely Fresh and Flowers customers, wishing you a wonderful holiday. Lots of love from the Fresh and Flowers team. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I love that. So I'm going to pop that there. That's my first Christmas card of the year. I'm going to pop that there. Now, oh, mm, there's something good in here. So let's open it up. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! That looks unreal! Look at that! Oh my god! That is so pretty! Okay, so I've unfolded the doors. Do you call an advent calendar, when you open, do you say a door or a window? Because sometimes I say a window and sometimes I say a door, but I think overall I go for door. I just thought I'd shout that in there. So, a Christmas Carol fresh box. And it says, Charles Dickens is said to have reinvented Christmas. He renewed and redefined its generous spirit. A Christmas Carol was first published on December 19th, 1843. Blooming heck, that was ages ago. With the first edition sold out by Christmas Eve. A story of Ebenezer Scrooge who learns the true meaning of Christmas when three ghostly visitors review his past and foretell his future. Inspired by the story and Victorian decorations, we created this box for you to get into the festive feeling but to step outside of that hustle and bustle of Christmas and to enjoy an evening to yourself. A little box of Christmas joy. And what I'll do is when I pull this out, I'll let you scan the QR code as well. So first of all, the colours of this box are beautiful. You've got gold, green, red. You've also got some purples in there. Purple's my favourite colour. So uh, first of all, I'm going to pull out this face mask. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to upload this video tonight and tomorrow on the 19th, I am going to do a live of where I put all of this on for you guys. I think I'll do that around about five o'clock in the evening. But first of all, let's have a look at this. This is Bring Us Some Figgy Pudding. Get into the Christmas cheer and spirit with moisturising linseed decoction and cleansing and naturally enzymic fresh figs and apples to give, your gl to give you glowing skin. In. I love figs. I love figs. So let's. Ooh, ooh, I like the texture of that. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, don't eat it. Ugh, don't eat it. Mmm, that smells lovely. And it's, it, it's got a nostalgic smell. Like, has it got. Did he say it had plums in it? Because it smells a little bit like plum rain. It smells wonderful. So you've got kaolin, glycerin, lin linseed decoction, fresh figs, fresh apple pulp, tapioca starch, dry sultanas, demerara sugar, benzoin resinoid, myrrh resinoid. It just smells so blooming good. It smells amazing. Then we've got this stunning. I think this is a wreath, but we'll look at that in a second. Look at this. And it's got lovely lustered um, dried fruit on there. 
Oh, it smells incredible. It smells super festive. That is beautiful. Oh, and it's got a cinnamon stick in it. It's got some rosemary in it. It's beautiful. I need to give it a little drink though. Then I'm going to get this out straight away because I am all about this. This is Sugared Plum Facial Sugar Cube. And... Oh, it smells so good. Oh, everything smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Right, let's open this. It smells... On first smell, like the comforter, but I'm going to have to have a little... <gasps> it's so cute. I love it. Does anybody remember Figs and Honey Bubble Bar? Because I miss that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's a comfort... Yeah, it's a comforter scented. That is stunning. Oh, I can't wait to use that. I love the little scrubs that we get in here. Um, I'm going to put that there. We've got a little muslin sack. Is it powdery? Oh, my God. Oh, God, that is stunning. I don't know what the heck that is. Speckled cannonball. Oh, it's, it's a facial wash. Mmm. That is a beautiful smell. It is like a sweet, clean floral, if that makes sense. A sweet, clean floral. It kind of smells nostalgic, but I can't put my finger on it. It is stunning, the smell. Is it? No, it's not snowman scented. I don't know. If anybody gets this box, I need to know what this is. It smells beautiful. When I look at this, I think, little tiny badger. Does anybody else see what I mean? It's just in the box and it looks a little bit like a badger. But this is Bar Humbug Bubble Bar, which would make sense. And let's get it out. This is so fresh. This is so fresh. Oh my God, that smells amazing. It smells a little bit like Kitsune. Really fresh, orangey, maybe like a little bit menthol-y or it's got like patchouli in it. It's beautiful. I'm going to have to get a, um, the, the ingredients out, but that smells so good. I think, I mean, I'm greedy. I would get one bath out of this, but I think if you want to be frugal, like uh, Mr. Scrooge, you could probably get two baths out of that. <gasps> Look at this. Golden walnut. Look at that. Do you guys eat nuts at Christmas? Oh, it smells like Celebrate. Mmm, which is very fitting because it's Christmas. So a lovely kind of Bucks Fizz sort of a scent. That's stunning. Um, I like chestnuts. I love chestnuts um, more than like actual nuts if you get like the bags of nuts. Then we've got Mr. Fezwig, Fezziwig's Negus. Mr. Fezziwig's Negus. I don't know if I, what, what that is, but... Do I know what that is? Welcome to Mr. Fezziwig's annual Christmas ball. After dances, forfeits, and more dances, enjoy a soak in the wintry scent of... Oh, hot toddy! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Oh, what's this behind it? What's this? Oh my God, that's so cool. Hang on. So you've got that there. And then look, it's got a, like a slice of lemon in it. So it's like almost like a cocktail. I mean, hot toddy, spicy, cinnamony, deliciousness. Stunning. I'm loving all these little melts that we've been getting. The vanilla one from uh, November's box. Stunning. Stunning. That video will be coming up soon. And then we've got two iPads. We've got a snowflake and a clock on there. I'll get these out so you can see them more clearly. I'm just covered in loads of lovely gold luster. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, these are so pretty. So, um, so you've got the little clock there, like. Let that focus on first. Stunning, because it stroke of midnight. And then you've got that beautiful snowflake as well. Proper old school, the snowflake. So that is everything in the box we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in this box. Oh, eight items in this box. Incredible value, incredible value. Right, let's, oh, there's something else in here. It's like, oh, it's pages from, pages from uh, Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Do you know, if you do scrapbooking, I feel like this box would be quite cool because they do send out lots of little nice, like, wax sealed envelopes and things like that. Oh, that's lovely. Right, okay, I'm going to put them there. So, we've got Mr. Fizzywig's... Negus. I'm going to put this down just so it doesn't melt. Inspired by Mr. Fizzywick's party punch, break off a square and add to your wax burner to scent your bathroom with the fragrance of hot toddy. You can reuse the rest of the squares in your bath uh, water for another time. So you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got 
glycerol stearate, almond oil, res uh, benzoyl resinoid, cinnamon leaf oil, clove leaf oil, lime oil, Brazilian orange oil, uh, titanium dioxide. I'm going to have to put my glasses on here. I'm going to put my glasses on. Hang on. I can't see. Oh, that's better. Patchouli oil, titanium dioxide, organic pumpkin seed oil, organic jojoba oil, organic castor oil. Oh my goodness, I'm steaming up because the glasses are so cold. And then we've got Speckled Cannonball Victorian Facial Wash Bowl. Soak your bundle in a small bowl of warm water for a minute so that the rice starch becomes a smooth cream and the oat milk a soothing milk. Rub bundle gently over your face and rinse off. Oh my God. The smell of this is incredible. Oh my goodness, I'll get this right at the end. You've got rice starch, wheat bran, rice bran oil, oat milk powder, uh, you've got water, lavender powder, lemon peel powder, cinnamon leaf oil, clove bud oil, grapefruit oil, organic sweet wild orange oil, cinnamon powder, clove powder, nutmeg powder. It just smells beautiful. Then we've talked about the bring us some figgy pudding. You leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes, the figgy pudding. Oh, this is a foot scrub. Cool. So you've got gilded walnut with rich, with which, with rich walnut butter and moisturizing walnut oil and the natural exfoliant from ground almond shell. Soak your feet and gently rub in circular motions and rinse. I'm going to use that with the um, Padron foot mask that I got in November's box. Fine sea salt, a leapy butter, capaccio butter, cream of tartar, walnut butter, sweet wild orange oil, lime oil, ground almond shells, walnut oil, titanium dioxide. I mean, stunning, stunning. Then you've got the Bar Humbug Bubble Bar. Crumble the bar under running water, swish and relax in lashings of licorice bubbles. Use when feeling particularly grumpy and relax in the warm bubbly waters. Uh, sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, you've got cornstarch, bergamot oil, fennel oil, tarragon oil. Oh, I can smell the fennel in it now that I know there's fennel in it. Then you've got a ghost of Christmas present. And it is a bath bundle with freshly picked fur and rosemary from Carey's Secret Garden. Helps clear the mind and invigorate the body. Inspired by the floral description of the ghost of Christmas present, place in your bath water to infuse in warm waters. So you've got fir tree sprig, fresh rosemary, cinnamon stick, dried apple, dried lemon, red ranunculus, and red anemone. Cool. I mean, it's beautiful. And it smells incredible. Smells so good. Then we've got Falling Snow and Ghost of Christmas Past iPads. We have inspired by Scrooge's love of gruel thin, <laughs> watered porridge, but oat milk is but oat milk is lovely and calming for the eyes. Place gently over the eyes while wearing your mask and relax for 10 minutes. Use only once. So you've got the, the snow the, the snowflake one is glycerin, oat milk, fresh aloe gel, carrageen extract, titanium dioxide, and then your little uh, ghost of Christmas past clock. You've got oat milk, glycerin, fair trade aloe gel, carrageen, and activated charcoal, titanium dioxide, which is lovely. And then last but not least, my favorite little thing because it just it's so sweet it's a little sugared plum facial sugar scrub using the natural exfoliant of golden castor sugar soothing milk of ground almonds and a cleansing pickled plum pinch off a third and add a bit of water to make a paste gently rub in circular motions on your face to rinse off so i'm just gonna have another smell because i think it smells like the comforter but all this would make it make it seem like it's going to be a uh, plum rain scented Ground almonds, golden caster sugar, glycerin, bamboo stem extract, uh, fresh aloe gel, fair trade organic cocoa butter, sweet wild orange oil, umiboshi plum, purple sweet potato powder, organic virgin plum oil, titanium dioxide. But it really does smell more like the comforter than plum rain. But I could be wrong. But that is everything in the box. I think my favourite things, obviously, is the sugared plum. And, I, and this, 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 because it just smells amazing. I can't wait to use it. Um, like I say, I'm going to do a live um, on Sunday, the 19th of November, um, where I'm going to try everything on. We can have a lovely little chat about all the products. Um, but I would love to know in the meantime, if you're going to sign up for this box, you've got until the 24th of November, uh, what your favourite products are, what you're looking forward to. Eight absolutely stunning items. I cannot wait to use this what a cracking little box and when i do my review of the year i think this is gonna be up there i think this is gonna be up there for sure um but yes if you like this video give it a little thumbs up 
And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. When we get to 4,000, I'll be doing a giveaway. And of course, you can follow me on these social media pages here. And YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. But thank you so much to the guys at Fresh and Flowers for sending me this absolutely incredible box. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you tomorrow in the live. Bye.